So guys, having gone to China Square, these are the few items that I managed to acquire. Of course, this is after three hours of walking just quarter way of that mall. So the first product from China Square in our haul is the Super Black Permanent Hair Color Cream. This was recommended to me by somebody to do a purchase for them. This was a good deal. I think it was going for about 130 Kenya shillings. Then I was also sent to buy the Dr. Rachel Aloe Vera Facial Cleanser. This one, by the way, the Dr. Rachel products are very, very affordable. As you can see, this is in the Aloe uh, brand. So this was going for about 300 Kenya shillings. The next Dr. Rachel product I bought was this um, eye cream and this was also very very affordable at 180 Kenya shillings. Then the next uh, facial product that I bought was this um, collagen elastic product again by Dr. Rachel. It's an 8 in 1. And uh, also very very affordable. I think this was going for about 400 to 500 penny shillings. Then for myself, I bought these uh, facial sponges to apply my foundation. Then I bought a switch and socket. This uh, is for our water heater. I bought a wallet. These are also very, very affordable. And if I don't uh, have the price wrong, this will be about uh, 300 Kenya shillings. And as you can see, it's in dark tan with another shade of brown on the inside. Then I got a potato shaper. This is in the cutlery and utensil section. So I'm hoping to use this to shape my potatoes. Then I got some uh, stainless steel straws. These are colored straws and it comes with a brush so that you can use this to clean the inside of the straw. Then I also got some silver ones. So I have them in, in color and in silver. Then I got some fruit, uh, fruit box ones. This one's I think going for about 120 Kenya shillings. Then this was an outdoor vent. This is an outdoor hair freshener. This one for about 130 or 40 Kenya shillings thereabouts. Then I got some uh, cockroach repellents. This one it was going for Kenya shilling 35. So I got of them. Then I also bought a fly repellent. This one, this was going for about uh, 100 shillings. 100 shillings. Then I bought a clean film. This was about 130 Kenya shillings. I got some dental floss, flossers. This one was uh, 50 Kenya shillings. I got a doorbell. Then I got myself a mini handheld fan. I've been seeing uh, very many ladies walking around with these fans, and especially it's been very, very hot in Kenya. So this one you charge just like you charge your phone with this charger uh, from this port here like this. So once it's fully charged, you just walk around with the fan. As you can hear, the fan is going around and keeping you cool. So you can actually walk around with this fan as you go about your businesses in the office in your hustles wherever it is that you're walking around even in church you can carry this so just turn it on from here and turn it off so this is a good buy 
from uh, China Square and it was going for about, actually they are ranging from about 300 to 600 depending with the type that you pick. So hurry it there so that you can get yourself one. Then I got a rechargeable, sorry, I got a rechargeable S clamp. This one and this was going for about uh, 700 Kenya shillings. Box this with you. So when they come in different types, and uh, this one is still on. So it's quite a vibe because this cord here can be moved whichever side that you're starting from, and it's charged like you would do your phone. So it comes with this cable so once it's fully charged all you have to do is turn it on from here there it is i'm sure you can see the lead lamp so since it's a reading lamp uh, you will be focusing where your books are so guys i saw this in quite a number of uh, designs eh? so be sure to look them out and the prices are very very affordable Then I got a hairbrush. This was going for about uh, 50 shillings, 50 Kenya shillings. And lastly, I got this uh, aluminium foil tableware. So I got them in this rectangular shape. They come in a variety of shapes. You can get them in circle shape, square, rectangle depending on uh, your preference and these are good for baking they can also be used as a hot pot once you have cooked your food you can use this uh, to ferry food from one destination to another and you can also use them to barbecue your food so for me china square was a good win because uh, the prices are very very affordable and it's quite accessible they open their stores every day of the week from 9 a.m late in the night so guys i hope you enjoyed our video at the china square mall as well as the items that we have chased i hope you find time to go there and until our next video i hope you get to like this video share it and leave us a good comment have a good day and goodbye Everything ain't up And I'm stuck in this loop